Hey, welcome back again to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfx Poco XC Custom ROM Reviews. This is Pixis OS version 5.11 G apps. Unofficial build edits as of now will be getting official builds very soon. And Android version 12 here and April 5th, 2022 is the latest security patch available that's present here. And the kernel used here is 4.14.246 lineage kernel has been used and the build date you can see here april 25th this is a recent update regarding pixie source after a long time we are seeing pixie source on this particular poker x and the sync status you can see here i'm forcing and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last nine minutes and 10 seconds you can see here the graph the maximum is 145 and average is 129 and minimum is 101 million gips and it's going to be throttle a little bit you can see the graph here and it is throttled to 81 percent of its max performance that's how it is and coming to dialer let me increase a little bit of volume and this is how the volume panel you get here and regarding dialer as you can see this is the icons arranged like this if you want you can change them further and direct video call feature is available and call recording feature is also available and it should say that other person informing that you are recording the call that's how it is and you will get under 12 style widgets here and if you go like this as you can see it's an under 12.1 style hence you get these kind of animations and widgets home settings if you go into home settings let me show you again it's a pixel launcher pre-installed in this particular rom and regarding camera you get this kind of basic cameras uh, app this is okay for even taking videos also as you can see let me switch to videos as you can see you can shoot up to 1080p ultra hd videos photo samples also you can take here that's not the problem if you are something advanced then you can use the arno build gcam where i was showcasing that gcam in every rom that you can use it out and uh, regarding benchmark results the first antidote benchmark here the scores are very good 346,317 and temperature raise was just 1.2 degrees celsius and battery drop has been noticed during this testing was just three percentage again that's fine enough and uh, regarding the geek pin scores here also it's very good scores what a comeback from pixel source as against the single score is almost 560 558 and multi score is 1616 could have been 1800 like that but anyhow it's a an good score considering the single score and the kernel used here is link 4.14.246 lineage os kernel has been used as i said before also you can see here the animations and everything is smooth enough that's how it is and coming to drm info in this particular rom you get level one certification such that you can watch all the ott applications in hd and higher resolution that's possible with this rom and uh, what's up on google Play? let me install this safety net status by the way you can also see the speed of the internet i'm using here geo giga fiber connection if you want you can use mobile data also it's also working fine no problem regarding that too and carrier aggregation is also supported no problem regarding that too and safety net status as you can see it's get passed very good you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever it is you can use that and even the whatsapp is also working fine as you can see it's not showing any warning here that's good thing and uh, that's how it is and uh, into the settings panel let me move on to settings as you can see it's very smooth and regarding apps you get these kind of options default apps you can change from here and special app access plenty of options are given you can individually customize them i mean keep different options for different apps and notifications here also the same thing bubbles features are given conversations enhanced notifications you can enable or disable from here and coming to battery life you can see here it has recorded time got that's good and you can see here you can expect very good battery life from this particular rom because this is very good even in terms of performance and even the battery life going to be good here and at 12 based but still you can expect very good battery life and these are the options you get you might get extreme battery server yes this is 
simple like pixel x one but there are little bit of customization as you can see here the theme enable this use black theme in pitch black condition let me enable the dark mode here you can see here now it's pitch black condition if you disable this you won't get that pitch black condition in the home screen and even the settings panel and the quick settings panel by the way this is how the quick settings panel nothing new here just you get some of the options here you can see screen recording everything is working fine no problem regarding that and sounds you get all the basic things here you also get this direct sound settings and enable hi-fi which is really good will make a little bit of difference in your audio experience and you can choose the headset and reset from here clear speaker option is also given touch vibration haptic feedback also you can enable or disable from here into the display settings you get adaptive brightness working fine extra dim locks and skin timeout and dark theme as i said before you need to enable that option in theme section font size deadline body front you can change here some of the options are given icon pack also you can change here and night light feature you can increase or decrease the intensity and you can even schedule it out and colors option keep it boosted natural adaptive looks like washed out and tap to wake is given and individual refresh rate is not given just you need to enable the smooth display then you will get automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 h for content i don't know whether it switches to 120 hertz or not this is how the options given maybe in the upcoming build they can fix this and accessibility menu it's available it's an handy feature as you can see just enable this just toggling this you can adjust the volume up and down without using the actual physical buttons that's a really good thing not just that you can access a lot more things using the accessibility menu and security feature you get face unlock fingerprint unlock and there is an app lock and encryption and credentials good thing is it's encrypted rom location everything is working fine no problem regarding that into system into guest just into system navigation into the settings you get gesture bar length increase option but there is no option to increase its height or anything like that i have increased the bar length but it's showing the same thing this is a bug i can see that's the bug one more thing that's how it is and let me show you the fingerprint unlock here as you can see it's fast enough to unlock using the fingerprint unlock and also the face unlock let me show you and you can see here the face unlock is also working fine enough it takes actually you need to move the smartphone near the smartphone I mean, face unlock is also working fine but it's acting like this that's how it is and let me show you the bgma gameplay before going into that the camera application as i said before also you can use any gcam ports anx camera support is not available as of now and here we go you can see the vision my gameplay what graphic settings you get that you will be amazed to see you can see here this is the bgm and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like and many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel hit that subscribe button also guys and into boot camp and the big thing in this rom is this is the volume panel it's loud enough and this into the graphic settings this is really good smooth plus 90 fps by default enabled no need to enable anything even in the settings miscellaneous settings like that that's not required here that's really good in this particular rom you get by default 90 fps it will make really difference in the gameplay i hope this is almost near to official rom but there are few problems as i said and there is no option to increase the gesture bar length there is option actually but it's not coming into action and even the face unlock is also acting a little bit weird here it's not recognizing my face even though i added i don't know those are the bugs you need to keep in mind that's how it is it wasn't so laggy but that's how it is and now again with tdm with the same graphic setting set to smooth plus 90 fps only it's really good rom comparing with pixel experience also this is having advantage of that 90 fps and even the benchmark results were fine and you can see here the gameplay is also fine nothing like choppy or laggy or anything like that 
the kernel is fine enough to handle this you can see the battery temperature sorry percentage 77 it's also fine The device is also not getting warm here, that's a good sign. I'm continuously playing and using this smartphone now with fan turned off and light is here but still it's not getting warm, that's a really good sign. Okay, I will come back. That's how the BGMA gameplay. It was fine enough. Just the face unlock, as you can see. Once again, I will show you. It's not okay now. It's getting unlocked. As you can see, it's now getting unlocked using the face unlock. That's fine enough. It's acting like this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it won't. And let me show you the charging animation here. And you get advanced restart button here in this particular ROM. As you can see, you get charging rapidly here. That's fine. Once again, charging rapidly option is given such that you can use 33 watt charger. And I hope I explained everything. The verdict is very clear. They need to improve the face unlock option and they need to add that gesture bar length to increase the option. If, if at all they have option, then they can also add the height of the gesture bar also to increase and overall the performance is fine the battery life is also fine you will get charging fast charging support here everything looking fine here let's wait for one more build and you can definitely try it as a daily driver as of now also but if you think that you're using the face unlock as a main unlocking thing to this smartphone poco x then you can skip this if you are not that then you can use it as a daily driver that's my verdict and i hope i explained everything and if you like the video give it a like and thank you for watching guys we will meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now